I'm Kelly with DT Royal and we're going to discuss how we achieved all these heights. Uh, initially we went off of a rolling scaffold uh, to get our preliminary heights. Uh, once we reached that elevation then uh, it was all a, uh, a teamwork to get the, uh, um, the bracing and scaffolding that you see in place here. It was just a lot of a care and attention. Um, very, very simple procedure. Uh, you just have to do it methodically and uh, keep safety in mind. From this uh, plywood is 17 foot 9 and 9 16 if you want to get real accurate. So like I said, rolling scaffolding to get to the uh, heights where we can uh, attach the scaffold. And then from there it's pretty well a cakewalk. And again, just do it methodically. And then how are you adjusting the walls? The like adjust the walls, the walls. On, on the base of the braces, which uh, have adjustments here and we use a plumb bob of course the only only uh, detriment on a plumb bob would be if it was really windy but we were fortunate with the weather and we get within an eighth of an inch variance that's the only allowance that we go if it's a quarter we get it to an eighth yeah a handrail is, is to code 21 and 42 uh, 21 intermittent uh, uh, rail and then 42 on the top from the deck in which is WCV regulation no we're very happy with it uh, uh, and uh, you know, like I say, once you've done it once or twice, you uh, get friendly with this product and if you understand the method, you should have no problem whatsoever.